And hello again. I'm just going to do um, three questions here, three, three derivatives that require careful use of index notation. Here we go, one, two, and three. I'll start off with the first one. I'm not changing the pen. There we go, do it black. One. First, you have to write the function out using index notation. So this will give us 2x to the negative a half, negative because it's 1 over, minus 3x squared plus 7x plus 1. So the others are all already set up for us. Then we can find the derivative. And that is 2 times, now the power comes to the front, so it's negative a half. x goes to the power 1 less. That's, I'll just leave it as negative half, negative 1 for now. Then the next term will give us minus 3 times 2 x to the power 1 less, that's just 1, plus 7, and plus 0. When you differentiate any number by itself, you get 0. When you differentiate 7x, you just end up with the, the 7 by itself. Now, let's just make this a little bit simpler. This is the same as 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1. That gives us x to the negative 1 and a half, or negative 3 over 2. And we've got negative 6x and plus 7. This is equal to negative 1 over x to the 3 over 2, negative 6x plus 7, which is negative 1 over, now this is going to give us x to the power 3 square root minus 6x plus 7. Uh, those last three lines, so that is from there to there, there was no differentiation going on there at all. That was just me making the indices of that first term, firstly positive and then using symbols. Um, they're all, they all mean the same thing. It's just different ways of looking at the same thing. So you just have to be careful how you, um, how you go from one to the other. Make sure you do understand how those indices all work. Okay, that's the first one. Now, the second one. Again, this is a, really an indices problem rather than a differentiation problem. First, well, we are going to differentiate it. You have to write this in index notation. I think it's easier to think of this as 2 over 3 times 1 over x plus 2 over 3 times x. And then when you come to differentiate, this is just 2 over 3 times. Oh, now I should... Sorry, I'll have to, um, there we go. I will just have to write it in index notation first before I can differentiate. x to the negative 1 plus 2 over 3 times x. Now we can find the derivative. I'm just getting, just getting a bit ahead of myself. Um, and we have that this will be 2 over 3 times negative 1 x to the negative 2 power 1 less, plus 2 thirds, and when you just have an x by itself, the derivative just gives you the number in front, the 2 thirds. So now we get, there's a negative going on here, negative 2 thirds, x to the negative 2, plus 2 thirds. That, that's it, finished. I'm just going to make it look in different forms. You could stop there, that's correct. Or you could write it like this. And that's just another way of writing the same thing, um, just playing with the indices. Okay, that's the first two done. Now the third question, I forget what it was. Let me just go back. Oh, yes. Here we go. That's where f of x equals x squared minus x all over x. And we're going to differentiate that. But this time, before we differentiate it, we'll just do some dividing. x squared over x minus x over x, and that's x minus 1. So then it's easy to do the differentiating. When you differentiate it, the x gives you 1, the 1, the minus 1 gives you nothing, and that's the derivative of that part. So just be, um, when you've got these fractions like this, just, just separate them out into their individual parts, and it should all work out. Okay, there's three.